in all my years of watching anime, and in particular, Reverse Harem, this is the most unexpected thing that I have ever witnessed. Now, what is up guys? Today I come to you with yet another weekly review of Kiss Him Not Me and we are at episode 4. And this episode starts off with, you know, the crew going to a con. Um... I kind of understand where Kai was coming from because when you go to a con, it's a lot of fun. You meet a lot of people who share the same interests as you, and you get a lot. You can buy a lot of merchandise there as well that of things that you like. Of course, my first time going to a con was last year to New York Comic Con. There, I witnessed uh, Masashi Kishimoto and saw the Boruto movie, so that was a really exciting moment for me. So. I understand where Kai was, um, Kai was coming from in this episode, and there was funny moments throughout the episode where we see, like, especially with the con part, uh, you know, they're trying to buy, you know, those uh, doujinshis and, you know, BL doujinshis, and we have where the senpai was getting lost, there were some funny moments, and then we get introduced into to a new character by the name of Nashina, and she's introduced by cosplaying as Sebastian from gray butler and we all know that it's actually black butler um the thing with this anime is they like to drop a lot of hints and references to many other anime and manga um sometimes they can be books some you just have to play you know i spy to catch them to make those references or they'll blankly say it out loud and even do parodies like the one with jojo in last week's episode and attack on titan so it's you know that's the thing with this anime you can just always um point out for a lot of references that's going to be dropped in this series some you just have to look a little bit hard enough so she saved kai from a perverted photographer and then we come to find out she goes to the same school as all the other characters the main characters within this show and she is noted to be a very handsome girl who is rich a smooth talker and she is practically good in everything um, I think it was very befitting that she plays Sebastian as well because she's capable of doing anything. She's a mangaka. She's capable of making a lot of um, sculptures. She makes her own costumes. This girl is, she's outstanding. And the fact that she loves manga and anime just like Kai, that's instant brownie points for her. So... It was obvious that she was a girl due to the opening and ending, so it this episode could not have thrown you off saying, oh, this was a trap or anything. It was obvious from the get-go, from since episode one, before her, intro, her official introduction. So they go to her house and see that she's rich and everything, and she's capable of doing everything, and they come to the point where they're going to take some um, photographs of the boys, where they said they're trying to pair up the boys and try to get, like, intimate moments, which is arousing Kai's, um, um, BL fetish. And we come to the part where she, they were asking for the boys to lay their heads on the, on each other's laps, which they refused, so Kai decided to do the demonstration with Nishina. Now, it came to the point where this is something that it's probably been referenced to in a few reverse harem series where there maybe have been a female who has fallen in love with the main female protagonist of the series, but possibly her love is pushed aside for the more uh, straight type of relationship between the male and female, or it may have been taken as a joke. Um, in this series, actually, um, we do have another female who's in love with our main female character, but she takes it up a notch. And that's what makes her so different. This girl actually went in for the kill. She kissed Kai. And that is Kai's first kiss in all of her 17 years of living. Her first kiss is with another girl. A Yuri kiss inside of a reverse harem series. That's something that you would have never expected. I, I, I was I was shocked. I was like, wait, hold on, what? What? I would have thought she would have ended up kissing one of the guys first, and then, you know, it goes on like that. And even if Nashina was to appear, it probably would have been pushed aside in favor for the guys. So while we have where Kai is always fantasizing about the guys, you know, her trying to be the background character to pursue for the male-on-male -male relationship. Now we have where a female character has basically identified herself as that of a lesbian 
and has fallen in love with our main character and is now is going to be a potential love interest in hopes to become her partner by the end of the series which is something that's totally unexpected and I did not expect that to actually happen in the episode which blew my mind so and she's a very interesting character at that too so I cannot wait to see what more she has in store as she tries to make Kai look in her favor and hopefully that they can be together by the end of the series and how the guys are going to deal with this new intruder like they didn't have problems amongst each other as well now they have someone else coming in and making the the point of trying to get Kai to like them a lot more difficult than it is because she has earned tons of brownie points okay she's like 10 steps ahead of the guys so it's like it's going to be even a bigger challenge and it was just a really interesting episode it was something that i did not expect and i cannot wait to see what more is to unfold now that we have all of these characters um is it possible that there's going to be other characters possibly but they probably won't get as much attention versus these five so if you guys saw this week's episode of kiss him not me episode four Please do drop a comment down below on how you felt about this episode. What were some of your most favorite parts of this episode, funny parts, and how do you feel about that that your kiss scene in this episode? Was it something that you expected? Um, something that was unexpected that just blew your mind out the water? And how you feel about this new character, Nishina? being part of the fray to try to get Kai's love. The links are always in the description box so you guys go check that out. And I'm Kimmy Chan of Anime Legends Podcast and I will see you guys later. Bye!